Shout out to the shooters. Much love to all shooters as we continue to improve our ability to shoot by improving our understanding of the physics and mechanics of shooting. Specifically this video, we're going to be talking about the physics and mechanics of backspin and how that affects arc specifically. Um, so first thing to talk about is the Magnus effect. This is the physics term that's important here. Magnus effect is the commonly observed effect in which a spinning ball curves away from its principal flight path. So to show it, we've got this soccer ball here that has backspin and it's in a ball direction up here. And the Magnus or lift force is pulling it back this way because of the spin direction. Magnus li or lift force or whatever goes in the direction of the spin. There's also a drag force down here. So we think about this in terms of shooting a basketball. This ball has backspin. If it's sinking, the Magnus force is going to pull it up, right? This ball is going to float. Now, similarly, if we throw a ball with top spin, the ball is going to sink. Um, top spin is commonly used in baseball to throw a sinker, or it's used in tennis or table tennis to keep the bounce of the ball low and keep it hard to reach for the defense or whatever. However, if we're shooting a jump shot with top spin, Magnus Force would pull it down and kill the arc, really. So we can see how shooting with backspin can really give a lot to arc and arc can improve the uh, improves the functional size of the basket allowing for more error on our range or our aim um, arc also let's see if we can pull this picture arc also causes the ball to be more likely to bounce into the hoop for instance, if the arc is high and it's coming down, it's more likely to bounce straight up. If there's no arc, it just clanks up and goes flying. So we can see how backspin can be really useful in improving our arc, which can improve our accuracy and our shooting percentage. So let's move on to the mechanics of arc, um, and it's pretty, or sorry, the mechanics of backspin. And it's pretty simple. Backspin is applied on release through snapping the fingers down. So when we see shooters snap their fingers down, it's not necessarily adding very much for range. It's not necessarily adding very much for power. But what it's definitely doing is applying backspin on the ball, which is going to cause this ball to sail up. Another example of um, backspin uh, finger mechanics through Rajon Rondo throwing a backspin pass. You can see that his hand is snapping down, and that is what's going to give this ball backspin, and this is going to allow his pass to float. He can throw it in a straight line and it'll float. Whereas if he threw it with top spin, it would sink. So to summarize, if we shoot and apply backspin through our release, through a finger release, snap the release, and we are able to shoot the ball with perfect backspin, then the Magnus Force is going to pull the ball up in the air. It's going to cause the ball to float. It's going to improve our arc and it's going to make the basket functionally bigger and it's going to allow for more error and range and aim and it's going to allow for more balls to bounce in. Now backspin does some other things. It causes the ball to fall off of the backboard so it helps with glass shots as well. Um, but that's basically what it is. Backspin we can think of it as a mechanism for aim, which we'll get into later, but it's predominantly a mechanism for arc, which affects accuracy in its own ways. So um, hope this helps in understanding why shooters shoot with backspin and how that affects the ball from the physics. Um, and stay tuned for the release of efficient shooting. This thing is already 70 pages and it's not even, it's like, probably a month or more out. So it's going to be a really good resource. We're going to release more videos on this as well. If you want to be on the early release, email energyefficientbasketball at gmail.com. Otherwise, keep checking back in the videos and you'll hear about it when it happens. Uh, if you've got questions or comments or anything doesn't make sense, 
uh, haul it in the comments and we'll be happy to answer. So much love to all shooters. Peace.